Hi, my name is Ned, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Zap with Caspio to produce and email a web merge document. First, let me show you how this integration works. When a Caspio form is submitted, we will use Zapier to send the submitted data to web merge. From there, web merge, which is used to create the PDF invoice, will send the data as a PDF attachment via email. This integration can be very useful and effective if you want to automatically send invoices or other type of documents to your customers via email and as an attachment. Now let me show you how easy it is to configure this without any coding. You'll need to create a web merge account and when logged in you'll want to create a new document. Let's create a customer invoice and continue. Here you can design your own upload your own fillable PDF or use an office document if you have one created. I'm going to use one of their existing templates and I will choose the customized template invoice. Now let's create the document. You can modify this existing template if you'd like but I'm simply going to keep it as is and continue. I want to output the document in a PDF format and I will keep all the other settings the same. Let's go ahead and move on again. On the following screen these are going to be your fillable fields for this template. Now would actually be a good time to go back to Caspio and verify that your fields from your Caspio table match the fields from Web Merge. The field names don't have to be exactly the same, but you should keep them somewhat similar so it's easier to reference later on. Let's go back to Web Merge. You can do a demo submission and test it if you like, but I'm going to move on. Now let's set up the delivery method next. I'm going to choose email and quickly fill out these fields. I'll use my specific email for now, but you can also point to the email in the form if you want the PDF to be sent to the email that's provided inside the submission form. We'll use something random for the subject line. And let's just put in NA for message. When done, save your delivery method and continue. Now that we have configured everything inside WebMerge, let's go to Zapier to connect Caspio to WebMerge. Log into your Zapier account and click on the button to create a new Zap. Let's give our Zap a quick name. First step is to find and select Caspio to be the trigger application. Then let's select new record, which basically means that when a new record is created inside the Caspio table, we want the data to be sent somewhere else. In this example, it'll be web merge once we configure the action later on. On the following screen, you'll want to connect your Caspio account to Zapier. The pop-up screen will notify you that you need your Caspio account subdomain in order to link your Caspio account to Zapier. Follow the instructions and paste your Caspio subdomain in the field and then just simply click on yes and continue. Now let's allow Zapier to access Caspio. And when done, once again click on save and continue. Now that we have allowed Zapier to access our Caspio account, we should be able to find the table that will store all of our customer invoices. I gave my table a prefix of WM so it's easier to find. Once you find it, go ahead and select your table and again click on continue. Follow the instructions on the screen and when done, click on fetch and continue. And now that the trigger app has been configured, it's time to set up the action. Find web merge and select it. Choose the second radio button so that we can create the document merge. On the following screen, just how you allowed Zapier to access your Caspio account, you will now allow Zapier to access your Web Merge account. Connect to it and follow the instructions on the pop-up window. Here you will easily copy and paste your API in secret that's provided by Web Merge. This is actually very easy to do. Just follow the link here and then go ahead and simply copy and paste both of these uh, long texts into these fields and when done, click on yes and continue. Save your changes and move on once again. And now it's time to map out the fields from your Caspio table to your Web Merge document. Select your Web Merge document, we call it Customer Invoice. The next field is optional, but let's go ahead and enable Download File as well. 
And lastly, all you need to do is map out each of the fields. So we will pull the Caspio table fields using the dropdown and select those for each of the web merge document fields. When done, go ahead and continue. I will skip the test and simply just save my changes by clicking on finish. From here, all you need to do is turn your zap on and you're done. Now when you complete the Caspio form, check your inbox and you should receive the PDF invoice with the information submitted via the Caspio form. So what did you think of this integration? Go ahead and tell us in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe for any of the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio.